It's time for the Family Feud, introducing the Hagel family. Gene, Minerva, Susan, Jamie, and Pat, ready for action. And the Jones family. Stan, Ernestine, Archie, Barbara, and Walter. On your marks, let's start the Family Feud. With the star of Family Feud, Richard Dawson. Where's that cookie? No, oh, 24 hours later. I'm just checking on it. Bring it over, Jen. Come on, Jennifer. This is Jennifer. I'm in love with Jennifer. This is a cookie from yesterday that Susan. Still fresh, too. Still fresh. <laughs> but, and we're going to share it. We said we'd share it with yesterday's audience. Sure. We'll share it with today's because I think okay. they're a little classier, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, I think so. I'll do the first. The first symbolic cut. Well, that's smart. Um, well, no, well, no, first you'll get your check for appearing on camera. Great. And then during the commercial break. Exactly. So oh, good. Too. Talking part. <laughs> and then on the commercial break, we'll cut it up and we'll share it with our friend. Okay. Thank you. There they are, the champ. How you doing? Fine. Thank you. Hey, goes at $1,206. Oh, okay. Yay, yay, yay. Okay, this is my mother, Minerva. Hi, love. My second daughter, Susan. Hi, Richard. My third daughter, Jamie. daughter, Jamie. Hi. Everybody's in love with Susan. I'm in love with Jamie as well. Oh, good. <laughs> They're in love with her, too. <laughs> and my sister-in-law, Pat. Hi, Hi Richard. I hope you notice I'm wearing your lips that you gave me, Susan. Oh, I know. It's first thing. First thing? <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd better bring them for love. Yeah. Now, uh, when we went off the air, we were talking last. What were we talking? Oh, about your grandma? Oh, yeah. We wanted to miss wish Grandma Myrtle a happy birthday. Oh, and we got yeah. you just what you want now. What did you get her? Well, Never mind. something that she needed, and we're going to buy it for her. Really? Yeah. I'm intrigued. Now. <laughs> what could a grandma want that she really needed that you got? You can tell me. Come on. Oh, no. No. Uh, can I whisper yeah, it to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of sweet. I know. Do you think it I'm would, glad we can get it for Do you her. think it would embarrass Myrtle if I said it then? I don't know. Do you think it would? I mean, I wouldn't do it to embarrass, but I think it was very sweet that they're going to buy it. She's sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's been she sick. Got, and uh, Grandma Myrtle's not very well, and they bought her a... a you're going to buy it. We're going to buy it now. A portable potty chair. Yeah. But that's very sweet. Myrtle... Myrtle, pucker up now. Close your eyes. Good. You opened your it. eyes. I hate that, Myrtle. You opened your eyes just as I kissed her. Family, all the way from Kansas City. Yeah. Challenger, the Jones. Hey, yeah. Good to see you. Hey. How you doing, Rich? Who you got here? Let's meet them all. Sure. Rich, today from Kansas City, I bring my sister, Ernestine. Hello, darling. Hi. Her husband, Archie. How are you? Archie. My cousin-in-law, Barbara. Hi, Barbara. Hi. And my cousin, Walter. Hello, Richard. Give me a smile, Walter. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you look so stern there. It's full of smiles. You're going to have a good time, Walter. All right. Well, hi, Richard. How are you? <laughs> what do you do, Stan? Well, I'm a system engineer for a computer company. Uh-huh. And uh, outside of that, I think in my own personal life, I'm a football coach. I oh, love yeah. it. Yes, I love working with kids. And one of the big deals for me right now is that I'm single, and I am uh, very, very interested in meeting women that are... Uh, like to meet a man who wants like to get married. Oh, you want to get married? <clears throat> no, that's... Don't listen to him. That's the bait. <laughs> it works, yeah. it works yeah. every yeah, time. I knew. It, oh, no. Yeah, who wants to get married? Now, right away, like, we say, oh, that sounds that's good. Right. That's you right. Rotter. <clears throat> Come on, let's play the few. <laughs> One hundred people surveyed. Top six answers are on the board. You've got to try and find the most popular answer. Here is the question. Name something people put on hamburgers. Ketchup. Pardon? Ketchup. Ketchup? Oh, 
don't want to answer. We're going to play a pass. We're going to play Richard. We're going to play for you. Very good, considering um, the last time. time <laughs> punched in the last time and couldn't think of an answer. Number one there. Minerva, my flower? <laughs> no, she's not a flower. Ah, you're my little dream. <laughs> my kumquat. The goddess of wisdom. Uh, oh, and exactly, <laughs> goddess of wisdom. Pinocchio's mother, Minerva. <laughs> Something people put on hamburgers. Lettuce and tomato. Well, uh, Lettuce and tomato? Hi, Hello. How are you? Fine. What do you put on hamburger? Mustard. Why not? Right. Well, mustard. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> people put on hamburger. Felt mayonnaise. All, All right, right. Jimmy. Mayo. Oh. First strike, three of those, I get a chance to steal. What no. do you think, Pat? Oh, I think I'd like to say relish. Yeah. yeah. Relish? Oh. Well, I always put those on. Not there. Couldn't this is really. a lousy hamburger. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> uh, how about uh, pickles? All right. All right. Pickles there, you're all right. If not, third strike. Pickle. One. The goddess of wisdom has one for me. <laughs> Onion. Ah, yeah. Yeah, that like? Onion. Oh, yeah. Very good, darling. One answer left. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese there, you got it all. If not, the Jones family get a chance to steal, but it sounds like a winner. Cheese. Raw beef, patty patches, all thing, and then we'll be back right after. Sometimes it pays to go with the flow, to check your worries at the door, to reconnect with your crew, to follow the thrills and the flavor, to roll with it and see where it takes you, to enjoy every minute to its fullest, and to dance like there's no tomorrow. You can do that here at Rivers Casino and Resort Schenectady where the good times flow. At Ford of Latham, it's easy to buy, easy to sell, and easy to service your vehicle. Easy to buy. We're home of the Latham low price. Right now, get discounts up to $3,515 on new Ford models. Easy to sell. We'll buy your vehicle, whatever you're driving. We're interested, even if you don't buy from us. And easy to service. With mobile service, a certified technician will come to you and perform maintenance and basic services. Get more at Ford of Latham, serving the Capital Region for over 60 years. Nine there, nothing there. Come on, pretty lady. One hundred people surveyed. Top seven answers on the board. Here is the question: Name something kids do less of as they get older. Make their beds. Make their bed. What do you play. Mean? Pardon? Play. Let's play. Play a pass. Play, play, play. You are the goddess of wisdom. 
Something kids do less of as they get older. They um, do us <laughs> homework. homework. Yeah. Dumb yeah. answers. Dumb yeah. answers. Yeah. It's old, a guess. How old are you? 18. I'm out of school. That's you how are? come. Yeah, I don't do homework anymore. <laughs> I don't go to school. Never thought of that. Yeah. So she came up with cheese. <laughs> she did. No homework could Give be me there. A break. Yeah. Right. Homework? <laughs> Not there. First strike, Jamie. How about ride their bike? Ah, oh, that's good could answer. Be there. Okay. Any of our 100 people say ride their bike? Oh. Yeah. Something kids do less of as they get older. Depend on their parents. Uh huh. Good answer. A little dependence is up there, okay? If not, third strike, or the Jones got a chance to steal. Depend on their parents. <laughs> not there. Twenty-eight dollars waiting for you, Sam. Come on, come on, come on, crying, crying, let's sleep, 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 sleep. What do you say? I think we're gonna go with crying, Richard. Crying. All righty, crying. So you get the twenty-eight dollars. If not, Hagels get the money. Cry. Number four. Number five. Uh, number six. Obey. Oh, the next one's got to be sit, doesn't it? Number seven. You had that, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Walter, smile. <laughs> All right, Walt. We'll be back right after this. Right. Have a good time, Walter. 99 there, 28 there, let's go. You okay, champ? Super. Great. All righty. Dollar values are doubled. 100 people surveyed. Top six answers are on the board. Here is the question. Name a machine or appliance around the house that you sometimes get so mad at you'd like to give it a kick. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. Four answers will beat it, Archie. I would say the uh, toaster. Toaster. You got it. What are you going to do? What? We're going to play, Richard. Right. We're going to play, Jay. Oh, what's the question? What a... <laughs> Name a machine or appliance around the house. Sometimes you get so mad at it, you like to give it a kick. Washing machine. Yeah, very okay. good answer, Jamie. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Okay. <laughs> Washing machine. Right. There you go. Give me that card, please, my love. Thank you. Well, this is, they held this up for me. I know this is our producer's work. He said, write this out and show it to Richard. Don't forget the Jones family is from Kansas City. This is my producer. I would imagine they want no one in Kansas City at the moment to see the way they're playing, do they? With answers like toaster. No, I mean, well, if there's a big win, we say, yay! But we don't want to get in trouble there. I'll, no one will ever see this. No, I mean, can you imagine that? He's got such a cruel streak. <laughs> oh, heads. Machine or an appliance around the house. You get so mad at you, like, give it a kick. I'm going to say sewing machine. Right, yeah. yeah. Sewing machine. Yeah. 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 You're doing fine, Jean. Uh, an appliance or a machine. Yeah. Or a machine. Oh, um. How about... Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, uh, the dishwasher. Yeah! yeah. Dishwasher! Yeah. What do you think? The TV. Yeah! yeah. 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 nervous to start playing around this family. Yeah. Sure Goddess is. of wisdom. Right. <laughs> TV! Yeah. You're great, Don. You're great. You know, or plants around the house, you get so mad at, like to give it a kick. A vacuum cleaner. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 
We say you got it all. If not, first strike. Vacuum! <laughs> 273. 28. Come on, pretty. You need some luck here. I'm going to give you a kiss. Mm, I need that. Well, you call on me anytime. All right. <laughs> I'll come down there. I gave you a kiss when I said hello. Oh, okay. okay. Kansas City. Here we go. Dollar values are doubled. First family, of course. They're getting 300. We'll play for the big money. 100 people surveyed. Top four answers on the board. Here is the question. Name something people wear two of at the same time. Socks. Yes. Socks. One answer will beat it. Shoes. Shoes for Barbara. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. What are you going to do? Play. We'll play. We got to play. We got to play. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on, Walt. All right. Didn't I tell you that kiss would bring you luck? Oh, yes. There he is. <laughs> How are you, Walt? Fine. What is, what is that, a joke, Walter? You just crushed my hand. I wanted you to smile, and the man grabbed my... What do you do, Walter? You're very sorry. Nice, gentle handshake. What do you do? I'm assistant principal with junior high school. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, they've not had one kid bust the rule in 11 years. <laughs> Got a handshake from him out there. Something people wear too often at the same time, Walter. Rings. Rings, if it's there. Okay, rings. Good. Good. First shot. Oh, Sam. Oh, Let's go, Sam. Got it. Got it. Got it. Gloves. Gloves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam wants club! Go ahead! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. One more, you'll be in the game. Come on, Steve! Earrings! All right! Yeah. Yeah. Earrings! That's it! Yeah. 273, 226! Walmart! Yeah. Hey! Let's go! See, now we'll tell them. <laughs> These people are from Kansas City. We're proud of you. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to mention it when you just had 28 bucks up there. Now, Kansas City, you'll be proud of you. This is going to decide it. Dollar values are tripled. 100 people surveyed. Top three answers on the board. Here's the question. Tell me something that goes flat. Tire. Tire! What are we going to do? We're going to play. We're going to play one. Well. something that goes flat. Flat. How about a balloon? Yeah! Looking for a balloon! Oh. First strike. Minerva, darling? A cake. Ah. Yeah. Cake! Oh. First strike. Susan, something that goes flat. A ball. A ball. Good all righty. Balls there are all right, if not third strike. And the Jones got a chance to steal. Ball! Oh. Is there not there to make you the chance? What do you say? What do you say? Beer. 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 The Joneses are going to say beer. Beer's up there. The Jones are going to be the champs. If not, you keep the title. Sounds like a goodie. Beer. Oh! 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 I never thought of beer. I thought of I thought of uh, soft pop, drinks, yeah, you know, but I never yeah. thought of beer. Beer's well, I'm not the heavy most into obvious beer. <laughs> yeah. Two hundred and seventy-three dollars plus one thousand two hundred and six dollars. Oh, that's great. That's great. You were beautiful. Thank, thank you. Thank you. We got the trade back. I want to see the uh, logo. Go. There you go. Here you go. Who's first? Who's first? <laughs> Walter Jones for the money right after we watch this. You did it, man. The top answer is on the board. See if you got it when we return. More homeowners choose Ambrose Electric for their Generac automatic standby generators. Why? See for yourself. I would highly recommend Ambrose Electric to anyone looking to purchase a generator. The service was wonderful. The install was seamless. And everyone who works for the company was totally professional. And they did a really fine job for me. Trust Ambrose Electric Standby Power. Your Generac Power Pros. 
Living with metastatic breast cancer means I cherish my memories. But I don't just look back on them. I look forward to the chance to make new ones every day with Fresenio. Fresenio is proven to help you live significantly longer when taken with Fulvestrant. Fresenio plus Fulvestrant is for HR positive HER2 negative metastatic breast cancer that has progressed after hormone therapy. Diarrhea is common, may be severe, or cause dehydration or infection. At the first sign, call your doctor, start an antidiarrheal, and drink fluids. Before taking Fresenio, tell your doctor about any fever, chills, or other signs of infection. Fresenio may cause low white blood cell counts, which may cause serious infection that can lead to death. Life-threatening lung inflammation can occur. Tell your doctor about any new or worsening trouble breathing, cough, or chest pain. Serious liver problems can happen. Symptoms include fatigue, appetite loss, stomach stomach pain and bleeding or bruising. Blood clots that can lead to death have occurred. Tell your doctor if you have pain or swelling in your arms or legs, shortness of breath, chest pain, and rapid breathing or heart rate, or if you are nursing, pregnant, or plan to be. I'm making future memories every day with Fresenio. Ask your doctor about everyday Fresenio. At Ford of Latham, it's easy to buy, easy to sell, and easy to service your vehicle. Easy to buy. We're home of the Latham low price. Right now, get discounts up to $3,515 on new Ford models. Easy to sell. We'll buy your vehicle, whatever your driving we're interested even if you don't buy from us and easy to service with mobile service a certified technician will come to you and perform maintenance and basic services get more at ford of latham serving the capital region for over 60 years there's my old buddy here smiling walter from uh, kansas city what our people come into town you try it out for it and we flew you in right quite a talker isn't he yeah. Right. But Archie off stage, he can't hear us. Let's surprise him, give him a nice big score when he comes out. Sure will. Two words, he's coming along. <laughs> 15 seconds, please. I wish you luck. How many miles to a gallon does a gas guzzler get? 12. Name a way to make meat tender. By uh, using a tenderizer. Something written by Shakespeare. Hamlet. A kind of tank. Uh, all tank. Something people swing. Bat. Bat. How many miles to a gallon does a gas guzzler get? You said 12. Survey said 10 points. The way to make meat tender, you said a little tenderizer. Survey said 23, you got 33. Something written by Shakespeare. You said Morgan Mindy. Uh, no, what did you say? Hamlet. <laughs> Survey said? 31. <laughs> kind of tank, you said? An oil tank. Survey said? So you got 66. Something people swing, you said? Bat. Survey said? Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah. Through the board, please. That's good. So right, right next to stand. Here's Archie. Let's go. Archie, who did 93 points, you're 107 away. I'll ask you the same questions I asked Walter. Can't duplicate his answers. If you do, you hear that? Say, try again, give me another answer, okay? Okay. All righty. Please remind everyone the answers Walter gave us. Give me 20 seconds on the clock. We wish you luck. How many miles to a gallon does a gas guzzler get? 10. Name a way to make meat tender. With seasoning. Something written by Shakespeare. Pass. A kind of tank. Uh, Sherman tank. Something people swing. A uh, bat. A uh, baseball bat. Try again. Um. Okay. All right. All right. Well, don't worry. You're winners already. You're going to play the next show, and you're going to get money for this. Not quite as much as I wanted you to have, because you gave me the number one answer when we asked about the miles for a gas guzzler. You said 10. That was the number one answer. Survey said 32. Way to make meat tender, you said. Seasoning. Survey said. Zero. Pound it. See, the ladies knew. Beat or pound, yeah. Something written by Shakespeare. You said pass. All right. I think it was the only one I could recall. Kind of tank. You said Sherman. Sherman tank. Right. Sherman tank's a good answer. Number one answer. Survey said. 46. <laughs> Something people swing. A baseball bat was the number one answer, by the way, and you've duplicated that. There's a lot of things like golf clubs, tennis rackets, or swings, or even swing. But so you didn't make it, but you did get 171. You get five dollars for every point. You got a total of eight hundred and fifty-five dollars.
He's back right after this. Good one, Mark. Family Feud Classic presents Huddle Talk. All right, we'll pass it. Okay, well, I'm back there. Talk it over. Let's pretend like we're talking. Is Richard's flower fake? This carpet is filthy. I'm hungry. When's lunch? Grandpa, no napping. Okay. Uh, broccoli. Broccoli. Stop saying broccoli. You're not the boss of me. Uh, you need a breath mint. <laughs> I can't get up. Oh, oh. Go. Join the conversation on Family Feud Classic. Watch now. I'll tell you what, because I like Walter's face, you know, it's also, I'm gonna have him back the next time we get together here. Does that sound good? Sounds, sounds great. great. Four of you come with. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. Don't go back to Kansas City, in other words. See if they stay next time we get together here on The Feud. Bye-bye. <laughs> Some departing cadets has received the new Proctor Silex Lady Light self-cleaning super steam iron. It irons out the problems you've had with ironing the Proctor Silex Lady Light. And an assortment of exciting Maybelline eye, face, and nail cosmetics featuring new nail color. Protex and colors nails instantly furnished by Maybelline. And a three-piece performer gourmet cutlery set featuring chromeless stainless steel blades with M&E toes, Fleetwood handles, new from Washington Ford. And the Greek shampoo cleans your hair without leaving a greasy feeling. And the Greek cream rinse and conditioner is 99% oil-free. They both work to help stop the greasy. This is Gene Wood speaking for Family Feud. A Mark Goodson, Bill Tudman production. Introducing the Jones family, Stan, Ernestine, Archie, Barbara, and Walter, ready for action. And the Martin family, Mark, Jim, Lisa, Roberta, and Jeannie, on your mark, let's start the 